you confirm so check if there are things you could not do before first check out to see if you can do them the things you could not do before i want you to come out the things you could not do before try it out whatever you could not do before try it out what is it you could not do before you could not twist oh yeah can you twist it now you could not do this before before service you could not do this before could you do that again okay, when i try to look at things that are far off they look blurry i was trying to look at people at the back earlier today it was it was really blur. i couldn't see them and after the prayer i went back and i can see them clearly come father we thank you jesus we thank you jesus before, uh, before i used to talk every morning like that some kilometers but uh, recently i found out that this part one time I, maybe i played football before i would play like hours but if i play like maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes i'll be out of the feet i can't jog like before but even while the prayer was going on i was still feeling the pain but the moment i stepped forward i just had this faith that it's really good and the moment i was prayed for i just feel like i can do those things i can't do before what are some of the things you could not do before i cannot so you could not do this before okay sometime um, on tuesday this week a sharp pain started in my lower abdomen and it's been there like I've like it's been I've been living with it but I came out and I was prayed for and right now I don't feel the pain in my lower abdomen anymore and before when I bent I feel the sharp pain and everything but now I can bend without feeling the pain again father thank you thank you thank you thank you forever it is settled the Egyptian you see today you see them no more amen all right yeah so, um my teeth i've removed like my wisdom to do but all of a sudden another teeth was giving me headache and i was like okay let me come out and i did and right now i don't feel the pain as much even when i was in there i was still feeling the pain i was like okay so when pastor said come out if you can do it i was like let me just hold on but now i don't feel it right now father thank you thank you thank you jesus Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. But I had an accident this year, so I cannot bend like this. But now I can do it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we speak. Perfect the works in that bone. Lord, there was a vision of bone. You showed me a bone in the leg. Lord, so we ask that that which you have started perfect in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, sister. Sister Ty, we're right. I remember people's names. <laughs> it was a healing service and a number of people were invited. And the pastor told us to come out if we felt some kind of um, pain in our private parts or maybe mm. infections mm. particularly that word. And on saturday night yes i came out with faith and then afterwards he said go to the toilet after praying for us he said go to the toilet check yourself i checked but i don't know i i didn't want to come out i was feeling some type of way i didn't want to come out this is the next time i'm coming here after then after that program and i'm here to give god glory because I was healed and I never felt that situation again. Praise Thank you. I've gotten to a, edge of, a point in my life that I already gave up on God, like truly. I already gave up. Because all through last year, I went through serious of illness, illness that it was so ups and down because my daddy too had a, a, an accident as well. But I just want to thank God because throughout last year, he saved me from death. 
I told God last year that all through last, all through the Sundays last year, I was going to give testimony to December. I did. I didn't feel. So this year again, January started. It was on a good terms. Everything was fine. Not until second February, it all started again. Then I just like, no, this is not happening. I just decided that see whatever happens, see me, I'm not even serving God again. I will just be sleeping. I just have a praying beside me like this. She'll wake up in the midnight. She will do meetings. She will do everything. I will just be like, what God want to do? Let him do. If he still knows that yes, he's interested in me, he has a plan for me, he has purpose for me. Eh, let him just do it because I was just so fed up because I don't know why year in year out I'll just have to because I don't know if you know what it feels like you are not SS you are not AS you are AA A positive and you are having a particular illness in your life it was so serious that I just like because my mom was even like all I'm day you are not this cold I know you you are not like this she's like she would report uh, me to my pastor and like mm. It's not in Nigeria again. If you like calling me, please send message to me. I know Pastor can take months before you can reply some messages. So I'm just like that. I just get up because I was like, to get to a point that I will not even do anything. To even get to a point, I will just be staying at home. Thank God I will just say, walk, not allow me to come to church. Because I was so down that I just told God I'm not going to do these things again. Because I was so, I was just so out. So it started the first Sunday, first, second Sunday in February, I came to church. I was just there. I did. It got to a point. I was just like, I don't even want to come to the other. Everybody was just like, well, like nothing. So Elizabeth, I said, I said, no, please give it to something else. Somebody else. I don't want to do it because in my mind, I know I've already written everything off. But the sec- the third Sunday, the last Sunday, it kept getting worse. It wasn't getting better. It kept getting worse. First Sunday in March, I was really down. My parents were at home with me. I could not go anywhere. Even the Saturday before the whole choir member came to check up on me and everything. It was that bad. I had to go for a series of tests, check up and everything. It even got to a point that I got to one um, hospital and, you know, I was there for about seven hours. No doctor, no nurse, nobody. I was just there. I just wanted to see a doctor. Nobody was attending to me. Not until I got a referral. I went for the referral. I went to I, I registered newly. I saw a doctor. Yes, yeah, somebody at least, somebody shared light to everything that was happening. But I just want to thank God because it has always been the same thing. I was just like, what is the essence of calling the blood of Jesus if my blood is not even pertaining to this blood? So let me just quickly give up. It got to a point that my mom was asking, she was like, ah, well, let me there. I saw that. So something, something happened. Your enemy died. Not quite long. The same few minutes, my sister was just like, ah, you will not die in Jesus' name. I was like, what is all this die, die, die of it? You know, got to the point that that night, I was like, if I'm going to die, see, at this point, I look strong outside. When people see me, I look strong. But inside of me, I'd already written myself up. I was like, God, whatever I would do, do. Got to a point that whenever I sit down, I will not even see anything. Everything will just go blurry. I was just like, is this the sign? See, let me start telling them to buy how many years of clothes. <laughs> Maybe I'll just, I'm not writing so many things. Got the point that I'll just start, I'll sit down and cry. I was like, what's the essence of crying when you know that maybe in the next few months anything will happen? I just stop, I wipe my tears. But I just want to thank God that even in this in, in this situation, because as a last year, it started from around that same February last year till about June, July, throughout last year, it was like that. But this year, it was February's second week, and this is March. This is just the last week in March. I don't know how we did it. The Sunday pastor came back or well, first Sunday I was at home. They said he mentioned my case. I was like, I tap into it. When is there about visitation? They said he mentioned something similar again. I wanted to come, but one or two things I could not come. I had to connect through Miss Ella and my sister will connect there together. I will connect to different order of fires, different prayer programs. It was that bad that through all the blossoms, any even when I took my um, sister's baby that delivered, like when I took when one of our med- medication because it was pertaining to something that I can take. It, it, was, it was like my immune system cannot even take anything again. All my system was so down that whatever I take in, I will have to go to the toilet and it will just come out immediately. I can't even hold food in. Even water is not even staying. But I just thank God because after some treatment, just for, even there was a there about some list of drugs. I was even showing Sister Tolani yesterday that. Uh, she said, Tolani, if I take this, if I take because it was, it was so strong, because I've not even seen it before. They're telling me something, something, 625 milligrams. I was like, me? They said, yes, for seven days, you have to use it two sessions. I was like, God, is it this bad? But I thank God, because immediately after the healing service on Sunday, I felt this serious warmness. I saw a, a, a whole me coming out of me. 
it was I was like it was something new. I felt this way. even when we came to take pictures, sister um Joy can tell her she was like, Ah, oh, your body is warm. She said it out. I was like, I just looked at her, I smiled. I said, My body has not been like that for ages. Like it was like everything restored immediately. Like this warmness came. Since then that warmness has been there. Everything in my body system has been working. I can't sleep inside the eats when everywhere when ordinary sun, I can't enter into it. But in the room, I on Sunday immediately after the meeting and everything, I went to the house. I slept me that would put my outside the compound and I'll be sleeping because of breeze. I slept inside the room. My sister slept me under the fan in the sitting room. My brother would have put mat. He slept there. But me, I slept inside that same room. Normally, I would have gone to the bedroom, start itching. My body would be swollen. But I just think, oh, I slept that week. And everybody was like, ah, people know so see. I was like, inside the room, ah, go go with the share. Immediately, I checked myself. I was like, I didn't use any drug. I didn't do anything. I just want to bless the name of the Lord because this is me today. I can't sit down in the choir department for about two or three Sundays because the is. I can't stand this. I've been staying at the entrance. I said, if God wants to do anything, let him do it at that entrance. Pastor Sam will come pat me in the back, like, how are you? But they don't understand. I was telling Satan, and he was like, ah, go here, we want to call you. I was like, yes. But I just want to bless the name of the Lord because even the strength that I lost, even the old face that I lost, he restored and he recovered everything for me. I just want to give out the glory to the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord.